Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You know what this is, man. This is your latest and greatest spot for your daily hip-hop news. And, man, let's talk about this situation that's going down with Soldier Boy. Now, Soldier Boy is looking visibly different. And for those of you who don't know, Soldier Boy is a hip-hop artist who originally blew up in Atlanta, had a major, major hit with Crank That, ended up having a, long, a pretty long career, you know, for a new rapper, and dude was just a superstar, man, for most of his childhood years, like his late high school years, dude was just a superstar out there. Now, Soldier Boy took off immediately. Like, he had a lot of stuff going on digitally, which changed the game. He pretty much changed the whole way that people marketed themselves as far as ringtones, as far as going out and putting your stuff online, using MySpace, you got to give it to Soldier Boy. He really was the dude who changed all that, man. I mean, a lot of people don't give him his credit for that, man. And he made he made a lot of money early, man. But Soldier Boy, somewhere down the line, started getting older. And as he got older, he wanted to talk about more adult stuff in his music, which is a normal transition. But everybody knows the tragic story of childhood stars, man. It doesn't always end up right, man. For some reason, childhood stars... When it comes to converting to that mainstream audience or even the hardcore audience as an adult, it's, man, people sometimes still put you in a box and see you as a kid, man. So Soldier Boy, he been on his grind. Even he kept putting out music, kept putting out mixtapes, but you could visibly see his image start to change. From that of the kid that he was when he was doing all the dances to that of a more hardcore, edgy rap artist. Now, Soldier Boy never seemed to fit that hardcore edge rap type thing. And he's hilarious, but he's very funny, man. Everybody, everybody has a quotable from Soldier Boy. From all his meetings with DJ Vlad to his meetings with, with The Breakfast Club. Dude is funny, man. The only problem is, I don't think during those times he was trying to be funny, man. There's a lot of Soldier Boy memes that are still in circulation to this day. That'll make you crack up, man. Dude is very funny. But like I said, he wasn't trying to be. So that can make anybody upset. So Soldier Boy found himself in a lot of situations in the last couple of years. He was trying to fight R&B singers like Chris Brown. He was trying to fight comedians. He was trying to fight all sorts of folks, man. Dude was really getting into it. And then even recently, in the last two years, he was still up to some crazy annex. He spent some time in jail. I mean, it's just been crazy, man. So Soldier Boy went quiet for about a year's time. Then he popped up at the Breakfast Club and he said some crazy stuff about Drake. Then after that, he went quiet for a little bit and we come to find out Soldier Boy was locked up, man. So Soldier Boy has been back and forth to jail, going through a lot of crazy situations that he put himself in. And really, really, really tarnishing his brand if you wanted to talk about what he started off as a rapper with. But I must admit, all the while he's been innovative, man. Dude has steadily tried to reinvent himself. Like when he went to the Breakfast Club, he was marketing a video game that he was putting out. Which was kind of like some weird deal where he had a lot of older games on there on his console. I didn't buy it, but a lot of people did and he obviously made a lot of money. I guess he had a restaurant that he was checking on, like a subway, and he had some issues with that, and people were posting that online. But most recently, he's taken to Twitch. Soldier Boy is a Twitch streamer with an amazing following. I think he's got like over 100,000 people who follow him on Twitch, because for anybody who grew up listening to Soldier Boy's music, and they're into video gaming, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. You, you're on a video gaming platform, and you see Soldier Boy on there, you know, live playing the most recent games or not even the most recent games because i think some of the games that soldier boy plays while he's on live is kind of old because i checked out his twitch stream and it's booming i'm not gonna lie about that man dude has this thing going man but one thing with soldier boy is he's been able to stay out of the limelight since his last eight month stint in jail now maybe that's due to the fact that he picked up gaming and you know that's an indoor activity the gaming lifestyle is a little different than, you know, somebody who's out there trying to flex, trying to be hard, trying to be young Draco. So let's talk about that, too. So there was a whole period in all that where 
Soldier Boy seemed like he was trying to prove to us how tough he was. He was coming out trying to fight rappers on Instagram. He wanted everybody to call him Young Draco all of a sudden when the whole world knows him as Soldier Boy. And it just didn't prove beneficial to his career, if you ask me. I mean, he was still relevant. He was still getting spots on TV shows, so maybe there was some type of balance that was working, but it just didn't match the artist that we knew, man. And especially not the artist that a lot of his fans love. And it seemed like he changed his look in order to fit that gangster profile, man. Trying to look like he's hard. Because he started getting all these face tattoos all on his face, in the middle of his forehead, all on the side of his face, on his cheeks, everywhere he was getting a face tattoo. I mean, he was basically walking around here trying to look like Gucci, man, if you ask me. And it just didn't match, man. You're a soldier boy. We know who you are. You grew up in, in front of our face. Like, most of the time where people are developing all that hood stuff and gangster mentality is during them teen years when you was a superstar with millions of dollars. So, man, you're not fooling anybody, to be honest with you. So, he continued on that path, and it seemed like that path is what was getting him in trouble. Now he's on this game and Twitch path, running businesses. It looks like he wants to switch it up a bit. Now, what I mean is, Soldier Boy just posted this video on his Instagram. Now, that's a very quick clip, but you can see if you're really paying attention, there is something visibly different about Soldier Boy. So what I did is I took a screenshot and I'm gonna post it right here, comparing Soldier Boy now to Soldier Boy before. And you can see, it looks like Soldier Boy got rid of all his face tattoos. So maybe that's part of the reason why he was in seclusion as well. I know tattoo removal is a timely process. You have to go in there a lot. It's from what I hear, it's painful and they put the, you know, the, like the needle or the laser on you and it's just, you know, kind of cooking you. And it's, it's a process from what I've seen. So, I mean, if this is factual and that's just not lighting or whatever, it just goes to show that maybe he's trying to change his image back to something that's more, you know, commercial and something he could market better. And, you know, probably trying to stay out of the streets, man. Maybe he's just trying to get way more serious about his business. I mean, that says a lot, especially if you're going to go at this day and age, at this late time when people, you know, know you from both of those identities and now you want to remove all your face tats. I mean, it could be just showing maturity is what I think, man. Because it's odd, man. When you are a child star, it seems that transition is something, especially in hip-hop, man. Because we've seen Bow Wow try to make that transition to an adult artist, and nobody really took him serious either. Then you got Soldier Boy. And the only person I could think of that actually did that successfully is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne successfully transitioned from a child star to an adult rap star, and everybody was on board with it. And he shot the heights higher than even when, when he was a child rap star. So it's very interesting, man. It's very interesting when you think about that. So what do you guys think about Soldier Boy getting rid of these tats, man? I mean, do you think he's just showing a level of maturity that he should be at? Because, I mean, Soldier Boy is 29 years old, soon to be 30 years old. So he's not just running around here as a kid anymore. I mean, he's a grown man. And, you know, obviously due to the prison time that he did, he knows that he's a grown man, he's going to have to account for things that he does. But, man, what changes from that? Could Soldier Boy be out here setting the trend for all those rappers who rushed out there and got face tattoos? And it was a lot, man. In the last three, four years, I think most rappers had face tattoos. So it's a little different when you see a couple of the new, new stars like the Baby and Little Baby, who are two of the biggest and hottest rappers right now. They don't have any face tats or anything crazy like that. They just... I mean, they just got regular faces. I mean, maybe this thing might change and people just go back to not having face tats. That would be interesting to see everybody going out and getting their face tats removed after so long of everybody having they going out to get their, their face tats put on, man. Interesting, interesting stuff. Because Soldier Boy, he kind of, he's always been a trendsetter, so I think it might set the trend. Now, with that, this be your boy, Big Man. Oh, yeah, one last thing, one last thing. So, in the comments, man, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Y'all think Soldier Boy is just growing up finally? He just realized what, what he's been doing with this last prison stint and he's just done with it? Or is this just to make itself more commercially viable to those sponsors and folks out there like that? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button and please hit that, that subscribe button. And if you can, please hit that notification bell because you hit that notification bell, you will get alerts every time I drop a video. 
I stay current, I stay daily, and I like to make sure that I'm giving you guys the latest and greatest news. And we out of here. Peace.